Priketika. So today we will learn few important points about multiple pregnancy. Multiple pregnancy can be monozygotic or it can be dizygotic. The prevalence of monozygotic twins they remain constant throughout the world and it is the prevalence of dizygotic twins which changes according to maternal age, maternal history of uh, multiple pregnancy or the ethnicity. So there are various factors which influence the prevalence of the dizygotic twins. Instead of psychosity, what is more important in multiple pregnancy is the chorionicity. So, monozygotic twins can be dichorionic diamniotic, they can be monochorionic diamniotic or they can be monochorionic monoamniotic depending upon the day after fertilization when the cleavage is taking place. If the cleavage takes place within 4 days after fertilization, each baby will have its own chorion and own amniotic sac and these baby will be DCDA twins. If the cleavage occurs between day 4 to day 8 of the cycle, then this baby will have these baby will have single placenta and they will have two amniotic sac. So these babies will be MCDA twins. If the cleavage occurs after 8 days, then these baby will have their single amniotic sac and single placenta. So these will be MC, MCMA twins that is monochorionic monoamniotic twins. So monozygotic twins can be either of the three. They can be DCDA, MCDA or MCMA twins. If we talk about the dizygotic twins, they will always be DCDA twins because each baby has its own chorion and each baby has its own amniotic sac. The MCMA twins, they carry higher rate of complications and they account for 2% of all the monozygotic twins because there is cord entanglement because both the babies, they are lying in the single amniotic sac. If cleavage occurs after 13 days of fertilization, then sometimes complete cleavage is not possible for the embryonic disc and this can result in the formation of conjoint twins. What is more important? It is not the zygosity which is more important but it is the chorionicity which is more important because monochorionic twins they are associated with uh, in monochorionic twins there are certain complications which are specific to these twins like twin to twin transfusion syndrome, selective growth restriction, twin anemia polycythemia syndrome, twin reverse arterial perfusion and selective fetal death. Since monochorionic twins, they have vascular connection in the placenta, so they are they carry a poorer prognosis as compared to dichorionic twins. That's why it is very important that we know the chorionicity of the twins. What is the chorionicity? We are not bothered about the zygosity. What we are more bothered from the obstetric point of view is the chorionicity. Thank you.